What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to implement structured data schema from Yoast SEO plugin into our frequently asked questions page, say our FAQ pages, okay? Here is one FAQ page example, okay? This page was optimized using Yoast SEO plugin and as you can see there is a uh, uh, data right here that can be structured as um, question and answers page so and frequently asked page how to let Google for example knows that this page answer a couple of questions using the structured data schema okay this is a quick tip and this is gonna help you if you are using Elementor as well because all, only while using Elementor you have an extra step right here but let's explore this into this video very first thing to do make sure that you have the Yoast SEO plugin already installed and activated on your site and you have no need to use the pro version the free will have this done for you okay moreover Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content for a friend of yours. Have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many more topics in order to use internet on your site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is go to our page, okay? And after the page made, make sure that you have the FAQ element on your page, okay? It can be using WP Bakery, Brazy Page Builder, Elementor, Block Editor, the old Gutenberg. You must have an FAQ element on your page, okay? After this, go to your page editor. In my case, I'm using Elementor Page Builder, both into the free versions, okay? So no need to purchase pro version in the case that you do not want, okay? I received tons of comments, are you using the pro version? No, I'm not. I keep all for free. And if you enjoy, of course, you may purchase the pro version. Go to these three dots, if you are using Elementor, okay? Into the upper left corner of my screen. And into the more, we have Yoast SEO. Right here, we can screw it down until we can find this schema. Next to Twitter preview, we have schema into the left sidebar. Click on it, screw it down and page type f a key page okay this is gonna enables the schema whoever if you only do this using elementor using the elementor f a key element this widget right here into the middle of my page answering a lot of questions if you're using only this setting right here on schema Google gonna shows you an error, okay? The webmaster tool is gonna show you an error, gonna email you in some days. And how to fix this? Go to this widget, okay? Edit Advanced Accordion. And if you review the accordion, the accordion widget onto Elementor, you can see this option right here, Enable F and Key Schema. Make sure that you have this enabled. And after this, you can update your page. Simple as it is. And now, Google gonna understand that this page answers a couple of questions and gonna probably rank your page better. A lot of sites have an FAQ page and you most do this if you are using WP Bakery, if you are using Elementor, if you are using Yoast SEO, if you are using all-in-one SEO. Every SEO plugin have their way to use structured data, the schema, and this is really, really important for SEO. If you are using Yoast, as you can see, into schema, we have a couple of options into page types right here, okay? Web page, eating page, about page, fact page, QA page, profile page, contact page. So this gives you an idea on what to do. This is an FAQ page, so page type FAQ, okay? This is gonna hunt your site better, simple as it is. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our Borders WordPress plugin in order to gain more widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg Page Builder, okay? Moreover, in the case there are needs of the best free WordPress team on the planet, go to our WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Themes, Add New, Search for Enzu WordPress team, click on install it and activate it. It's completely yours for free and gonna give you amazing customization options that not even some premium WordPress teams offer. Everything for free. 
Moreover, in the case that you want to go premium in order to save your time, count on our full support while doing your site, unlock access to our templates library, premium icon packs, premium blocks, premium templates, premium widgets, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass that includes Enzo Pro and Borderless Pro licenses, and go premium. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!